and it's Joey John Maguire. I'm in my local Weatherspoons on uh, Lloyd's Bar. That's the uh, first floor of the escalator uh, inside Fulham Broadway uh, Underground. That's Fulham, London, United Kingdom. I'm about to recite my latest poem that I wrote in the early hours of this morning. Um, it's quite a dark poem, but uh, hey, it's one of very, very many dark poems. So here we go, it's called After the Ball is Over. Let's talk about where I live. Not home as such, but the empty vacuum where I've spent most of my life. My place of solitude, though not my sanctuary, that I would call home. Where I live is my prison, my place of incarceration. Ever since my Cinderella moment, my early exit from the ball a full quarter century ago. It is a place of absolute solitude, where every thought is measured in negatives. It's where being alone is hammered home in block capitals with silent precision. It is an empty void where the outside world can be heard yet not seen, and every sudden movement forms an ear-shattering echo, tap, tap, and I am rendered useless, a trembling, shrinking violet, cowering and begging for mercy. It is a self-imposed prison, the only place I know where to run, where no one seems to care or understand. It's where I hide, when paranoia leads me to feel threatened. And the main problem is, once inside, because it's a very dark place, the exit is very hard to find. I call it purgatory, because when I'm in there, it feels like I'm trapped by the cold, lifeless drift of cyberspace. It is a claustrophobic capsule where no one appears to hear my screams. And every now and again, I hear a sharp tap and a voice saying, is anybody there? And it's like a nuclear bang, which shocks me into a panic dash. And in my mind, I always hear the same repetitive echo. Run, Joey. Run, Joey. Run. I said it was dark.